it's almost well, you can get yourself cancelled before you finish the sentence in the United States you if, you, if you speak about some sort of resistance against this. Well, well, let me just be very clear, and, and thankfully, I'm in a place where uh, I've already been canceled, and so I can speak my mind very freely and clearly. Um, how you respond to deep, violent, systemic oppression is a very important conversation for us to have. It's a sensitive conversation, but it's a necessary conversation. And so we could study, for instance, American slavery. Well, how do you rebel against American slavery? We could study the civil rights movement. We could study South African apartheid. And let me say, each one of those comparisons, none of those are a perfect one-for-one -one comparison. It is to say, though, that there are moments in human history when people are being severely and brutally oppressed. And what we see now which I think is one of the lowest points in my entire life, at least 12,000 Palestinians have been killed. Israel themselves say, no, the number is over 20,000 Palestinians have been killed. But before this past month, the brutality and oppression and repression were so severe that we must grapple with, how do you respond to that? And when we study history, you, you gave some options. The challenge is, any option people choose to respond to the oppression of Israel, when you respond in that way, they reject it. So for instance, I support boycotts. I support divestment. I support sanctions. That's called the BDS movement. But when you say you support that, people call you racist or anti-Semitic. Well, mm -hmm. those are three peaceful, nonviolent ways to respond. What's powerful is the United States itself has called for the boycott of Russia, has called for sanctions against Russia, has called for divestment of Russia. So in a lot of ways, the United States supports the BDS movement just for another country. So it's not boycotts, divestment, or sanctions that the U.S. disapproves of. It's just that they approve of it with one group and not another. Mm. So when we try those peaceful means, we're canceled, we're rejected. But those aren't the only means available. Yes, we protest, we demonstrate. And Palestinians do this. And Palestinians around the world have been protesting, have been boycotting. But there does come a time where every people group, no matter who they are, no matter where they are in the world, feel like they have to defend themselves. And sometimes that's with force.